Hey everyone, Joey Kissimmee here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use and how to edit your Timeline Sizer Pro custom templates. So it's really simple and easy to use. It's all about stacking images on top of each other and so forth. So if you saw the first video where we talked about how to use the Timeline Slicer Pro and how to use the functions and tabs and the stacking and all that stuff, then you'll know that you can stack images on top of each other. And basically this is what we're going to do uh, with these uh, these custom templates is stack images on top of each other and I'm going to show you how to do that uh, the right way. Now in the templates folder you're going to notice two different versions for each template. Now let me just go ahead and bring one of the templates over here so I can show you what I'm talking about. Uh, this is one of the templates that I provide and basically the difference here is that one has these little icons here so you can go ahead and provide a link for Facebook, Twitter, or your website. And if you don't have links, well, the other version does not have any of those. And the reason why I provided two versions of each template is because I know that not everyone has links to Facebook, Twitter, or even a website. So let's go ahead and uh, show you how to do that right now. Just upload a template and show you how to do it. As I mentioned before, we're going to be dealing with stacking images on top of each other. So the first one that you're going to upload is obviously the template. So just go ahead and click on the Add Image button there, and then just go ahead and choose whatever template you want to mess with. As you can see, I have tons of them there. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one here because it's my favorite. I love iPhones. I love Macs. I love anything that has to do with Apple. So once you got it uploaded there, you just basically go ahead and, and uh, click on it and hold it and then just drag it to position. You don't have to do any kind of resizing or cropping or anything to this because the custom templates already come pre-sized and pre-cut to the exact size that, uh, that Facebook requires, which is 851 by 315 pixels. So once you got a position and exactly where it's supposed to go, you're pretty much ready to start adding some more images and, and start editing your templates any way you like. Now each template is going to be different as far as what you can do with it and how many images you can add. Uh, for example, this one here, you could go ahead and add an image right here to the iPhone area, make it look like a game or a screenshot or, or whatever, a wallpaper or whatever you want. Uh, this area here is for your profile, like a little profile image of you or someone, or, a, or it could be a logo. It doesn't necessarily have to be a picture of you there. And then right here, you can add some text. Uh, so tell people that, hey, you know, this is my Facebook link, my Twitter link, and my website link. Okay, so let's go ahead and start adding images here. We're going to go ahead and add an image here and start playing around with this iPhone area. So we're going to go ahead and uh, click on the Add Image button. And then we're going to go ahead and just choose any old picture here. I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, this one here. So what, basically what you want to do is make it look like it's part of the iPhone. And it's real simple, easy and simple to do, guys. So basically the first thing I do is just try to go over it just a little bit, okay? Then I take my cropper. If there's any unnecessary areas here, which there are, go ahead and take the cropping tool and just go ahead and crop this just a little bit because I don't want all that white stuff around it, right? So we're going to just go ahead and do that make it look just uh, just okay all right there perfect so we're going to go ahead and click on the cropper tool all right now we're going to go ahead and just put the just pick any old little corner and put it right there i don't know if you're familiar with an iphone or not okay then we're going to go ahead and just drag this little corner just a little bit right there and we're going to put them right there and I think that looks good right there. It looks part of the iPhone. It looks, uh, you know, like it could be a, a wallpaper or a screenshot or something. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and add another image here. And this time I'm going to go ahead and drag it. Because, you know, a cool thing about this, you can either upload or just go ahead and drag an image there. So we're going to add this one right here. Okay. Now it doesn't have to be exactly that size. Okay. Just as long as you cover... Uh, the whole entire area there. We're going to go ahead and make them a little bit smaller here. And there you go. Uh, maybe twist them up just a little bit. Make it look good. Okay. So we're pretty much done there. Now we're going to go ahead and add some uh, text here. And to do that, you just go up here to the functions tab area and click on the text button, which is this A icon here. 
you'll see the text box here pop up then you could just go ahead and remove it and resize it and do whatever now before I go ahead and start resizing and changing fonts and font colors and all that I like to go ahead and type out my the actual text first so to do that you just go up here to the text field and you just go ahead and type out your uh, whatever text it is or whatever website it is and then you're just going to go ahead and resize it and change the fonts and all that now I'm going to go ahead and do all of these and I'm going to speed up the video just a little bit and we'll be right back <laughs> All right, so we're back. I'm done with all the text and writing out or typing out all the links and stuff. And then we're pretty much done here. Now, real quick, guys, those links there are not clickable. Let me repeat. They are not clickable. People cannot go in there, click on it, and, and go to whatever website you want. It's just an image. But at least people can see and read the text. They could go ahead and type it into their browser and then go to whatever preferred website you want them to go to. And that's pretty much it here. All you got to do here is just go ahead and download uh, this template here and then just upload it to your Facebook timeline. And that's pretty much it. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a ton of fun with your templates. With that said, this is Joey Kasimi. Peace. I love you for free. Out.